Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, and welcome to our innovation talks. These sessions explore the different ways to pursue a more sustainable lifestyle at home. The world is undergoing a major energy transformation. Today, we will address this transformation with my guest. I am your host today, Tracy Phillips, Business Development Manager at Schneider Electric. I'm excited to introduce and be joined by Matthew Buscale, Connected Devices Business Development Manager as well. Thank you, Tracy. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Hello, everyone. The energy... Hello. Hello. Yeah. The energy transformation in housing is rooted directly to the climate change that we are experiencing. The way we currently live and consume energy needs to change. If we continue doing the things we are doing today, we are going to need five more planets. I am part of this transformation. Matthew, you are part of this transformation. All of you joining us today are also part of this transformation. This major energy crisis reminds us just how precious our energy is, but it is a lifeline of our homes. We are here to say that collectively, we can make some changes to reduce our energy consumption, lower our power bills, and reduce our carbon footprint. And we can do this without compromising our comfort. Matthew, so why does this matter? Well, homes represent 20% of greenhouse gas emission in the world. So when you take just your house, Tracy, it's just a drop in the ocean. But when you add all of our houses together, now we're talking one fifth of the world. There is potential right here. There is easy way for people now that it's more aware, it's more coming, people understand this transition or climate change, all the change that we have in our world. So we conducted a survey at Schneider Electric and 54% of our respondents told us that smart home, connected home, can help them reduce their energy and their bills. 40% told us it will help them make their house more sustainable. So today, I'd like to go through different ways, very easy step on how we can save energy, but also how we can save on your electricity goes. Thank you, Matthew. Well, let's start with that first way, and that's getting back to the basics. Getting back to the basics. Something doesn't have to be complicated. You can do some easy things at your house. For instance, changing your lights sounds simple. Just changing all your allergen bulbs to LED lights. I live in Tennessee. Bought my house two years ago, changed all my lights, look at my energy bills, save $25 on a yearly basis. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a beginning. Now, if you add on top of that, the concept of vampire loads. Have you heard of it? Vampire load is all the little devices connected that you have in your homes. Your TV, your dehumidifier in the garage, all the little smart plug that you have to consume energies, this energy and cost you money. You will never turn off your TVs. So by actually acting on it, you can save up to $100 a year. That now tops to everybody. bug. Matthew, that's very simple. And that's the first step. But that would add or reduce about $10 per month. But as the price of energy continues to climb, that amount will start to grow. Yes. And this, of course, is just on average. We all have different size homes, more or less occupants, more appliances, and different behaviors that would impact that. But our daily habits have a substantial impact on that number. Increasingly, some utilities are starting a time of use tariff with the idea that the more you use your appliances outside of that time of use tariff, the better and the cheaper your hour bill will be. So Matthew, can you please explain a little bit more about this time of use tariff? So time of use, easy concept. You have your electricity bills, could be a flat rate, you pay for energy, same price at 10 a.m. in the morning, 10 p.m. at night, or depending on when you are in the day, you may have variable rates. This concept is very important because now you have knowledge, understanding on your electricity bills. You can find that directly on your electricity bills on the utility website. But let me give you a concrete 
Examples. Let's say you live in California. It's an average below 40 cents kilowatt hours on the low peak. Could go all the way up to 60 cents. So now a $300 bill per month become a $400 bill a month. So you can actually understand it now to save that and use all your lower if reduced price timing. Let's say you don't charge or you don't wash start a washing machine at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. You do it later at night when the electricity is cheap. So very easy concept, but this is where the knowledge and understanding of the electricity was powerful. The wonderful thing is we now have a home energy management solution, the one that we're presenting in the booth here today. So let's move on to the second way, the second tip of lowering your energy bill, and that is control. So control, again, we talked about the empyrelums, all those little devices that you have in your house. Keeping decreasing your energy and lower your bill doesn't have to be changing also your level of comfort. So going back to your garage and turning off your DVB fire every day, that changes your level of comfort. But now think about control. We have smart meters, smart switches, smart outlets, smart thermostat. You can act on it. So you can actually decide it for scenarios, to apps, voice assistant, you can actually shut them off. So all those plugs and really save this energy and reducing your electricity bills. Another example, just went over the holidays, Christmas lights, decoration, inflatable decoration. Do you need to have that 24 seven on? Probably not. So the intent really is let's use this control to actually act on it. Maybe at sunset or all the way up to midnight, 1 a.m. in the morning, when you can have your lights on, but your house and the rest of the time is completely shut off. You save energy. So really, an easy way. But to control, you need to have one key step, the third step, which is really the visualization. Being able to control things without understanding what the impact is, is kind of a challenge. So visualization is really something that you have to add on top of the tool. So Matthew, if I'm aware of my consumption, when and where I'm using it, it will change my behavior to make better decisions and consume less. Did I understand you correctly? Absolutely. It's called disaggregation. We actually understand through home energy management system at Schneider, how your energy is consumed and produced or stored. Now that you have this visualization in real time, you can understand where the critical loads are, your charge, and you can understand what has an impact on your electricity goods. But on top of that, it could be also very powerful for you to understand what's going on in the house. So let's take an example. Something which I'm going to talk to everybody, your fridge. You have your fridge and the app is telling you everything is going well. And one day we get a notification pop up and tell you something is abnormal. Well, either your fridge has an issue and you can be proactive or you just forgot to just shut the door off. That could be the same thing for your HVAC. But now HVAC, we're talking about a lot of percentage, if not the number one percentage of the electricity bills. It will tell you, you might have an abnormal use, could be the window open, could be a problem inside the devices. So now you can actually contact the contractor and be proactive and avoiding this huge bill when the product is already damaged. So really having this visualization helps a lot with an energy management system. Matthew, that's very useful information for us as homeowners. Now let's move on to the fourth way to decrease our energy consumption, and it's directly linked to consumer psychology. So virtually or physically, the more we compare ourselves to others is what makes us drive progress to make us better. So please understand this fourth way and that is called compare. Well, people like to compare themselves. We're social creatures at UCF Trusty. So we like to keep up with the neighbors. We like to look around and see what's going on. And when you talk about comparison, if you have the visualization in the control and now you understand and you have a way for you to compare yourself to your neighbor, to your region, your areas, your states, and see that 
Your neighbor across the street is actually having the same type of house of him, but his electricity bill is way lower than those. What's going on? You make it feasible. You make it real to understand that it is possible to save energy, to save on your electricity bill, just by being involved that others are doing it. Or you can do it and be proactive and also show other people. The app, the best thing about it is also helps you give you tips and tricks saying, by the way, you are part of the 10% of your neighborhood or is using less energy and you have not done anything. You just keep your level of comfort, but the energy management system is doing it for you. Balancing the load, taking a look at all your energy consumption and production. So really comparison is very powerful. And we estimate that when you look at what others are doing, compare, you can save up to 7% on a yearly basis. Okay, great. So now we have tackled four of the five ways to conserve energy and lower your power bill. So let's reveal that number fifth, the fifth way. So we talked about smart tech to control, but it doesn't stop there. Smart tech also learns our habits thanks to artificial intelligence or AI. So this is where a smart electrical panel comes into play. Please tell us why. Well, your electrical panel has now a critical role. It's always been about safety. You're providing your energy. You don't want to learn about it. You don't want to touch it. You just want to have the power all the time in your house. It used to be the gray box in the garage that nobody wants to see. Well, it's becoming now the pulse of the house. It becomes the heartbeat of your homes. It's really putting in the center. That's where all the electricity is. So having your electrical panel now smart will help you really control, visualize all this energy from a production and consumption, but also really put you in the middle of the system. So you've got a huge electrification from gas stove to electric stove or gas heater, water heater to electrical. You'll, by changing this, your electricity bill is going to go up. It's a fact. And in average, it's going to go up by 30%. So if you do not act on it, you're going to increase and you're not going to save money. So now, by this electrification, you also have a second issue that might happen to you that you haven't even thought about. It's just losing power. And how's that is, let's say it's 7 p.m. at night. You just came back, you charge your EV charger in our new Schneider charge and go back to your kitchen, start cooking and your electrical stove and power goes out. This is where the electrical panel has a key role. It will balance the load for you. So it will actually stop the charging for your car, let you cook, take a look at the time of use when the electricity is actually going to be cheaper for you to save in your money, and restart the car and charge the car maybe at 10 p.m., depending on your contract. All of that completely seamlessly without changing the level of comfort in Bielba. It's amazing to think that the future is here. The Schneider products, the Schneider Pulse, the Schneider Charge, and the complete line of connected devices, its switches and outlets are all part of this innovative home solution system that we are launching this week. It makes our home more sustainable. And what's really great is we just were recognized and received an award from CES on innovation. Matthew, can you please walk us through this energy system. Yes, the home energy management system. So collides, solar inverter, battery storage, the electrical panel that we just talked about, smart panel, the EV charger, and all the connected devices, smart switches, outlets, dimmer, all of that combined through one, one app. All in one, one manufacturer. So all those devices that you used to have different ways, different manufacturer, different app. Now it's all combined together, a true game changer. And one app allowing you to do the visualization, to do the control, to understand where your battery level is, but also how much solar you're producing and how much energy you're consuming. So really it's a true game changer. I invite all of you, by the way, we have everything here at the booth that we can show you in real time. So critical, one app, all in one ecosystem. One thing that we also have worked on is the design of this ecosystem. 
very consumer friendly, very slick design, and we have worked a lot on reducing the footprint of all those devices. So instead of taking the entire wall on your garage, now is really reducing the footprint and make it very efficient. Nice. Folks, well, this concludes today's innovation talk, but let's recap those five ways. Back to the basics. Control, visualization, comparison, and the smart electrical panel. We say it time and time again that managing energy efficiently matters, matters to all of us. We are in a state of emergency. The Earth's temperature has risen one to one and a half degrees, and it's reflective of the recent summer heat waves and the direct consequences tied to that. And it's only going to get worse if we don't act now. So on behalf of Matt and Bouscule, I'm Tracy Phillips. Let's act together and let's join in the fight. Thank you. Thank you, Robert.